Shalom, soldier. Most high Christ bless. Most high Christ bless. Shalom. Why did you join IUIC? So why did I join IUIC? Um, I joined because of numerous reasons. One of them, um, I saw the structure. I saw the order. Um, I saw that uh, we had a need. Our people have a need. Um, I saw that this is a way to build our people up, and this is what our people need, spiritually, mentally. We need it in order to progress. We need it in order to survive. So that's one of the reasons why I joined, because I think that, and I wanted to be a part of that. How long have you been congregating with IUIC? I've been congregating with IUIC for three years. What made you decide to look for the most high? Man, uh, where do I start? What made me look for the most high? Um, when I saw all of the police shootings, and when I say police shootings, I mean like Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, um, not even just the shootings, just our brothers getting killed repeatedly and then getting replayed. Uh, Eric Gardner, Philando Castile, I kept seeing it. And I'm like, man, if it's a God, why is this constantly happening to our people? That was one of the things that made me start uh, searching. Um, from there, it was two instances, two instances. From these two instances is what made me start really searching. Um, the first instance was um, I was on the train coming home from work. And I saw this sister. She usually, every time I see her, she got spirits on her. She's saying crazy things, yelling at the top of her lungs. Only this time when I seen her, she was talking to a young man, he was 15. Cause she asked him his age, she's loud. We over, everybody's overhearing the conversation on the train. But she says to him, she says, you don't know who you are, do you? She said, you a king, black man, you a king. You come from the tribe of Judah. You come from Israel. And the whole train was silent. It was quiet. You could hear a pen drop. I heard what she said, but it didn't strike a nerve until I heard the old head. The old head, you know, we standing up on the train, it's crowded. He leaned over in my ear and said, you know she right. We is from Israel. I said, hold on. Usually when I see her, she's saying something crazy. She said all of these things. Nobody corrected her. Nobody argued her down. Nobody was like, be quiet. You don't know what you're talking about. Nobody said nothing to this sister. From that instant, that made me start looking. Second time was my aunt passed. Um, when my aunt passed, it wasn't necessarily her death that made me start looking. I read the obituary. As the obituary was being read, saying all the accolades and things that she did in her lifetime, it said that she was a Hebrew Israelite. And I'm, I'm listening at the funeral and I'm reading and it said, she went to Israel from 1967 to, I believe, 72, so about four, four to five years. Um, and I was asking my family members about this particular history about her, and nobody would, they didn't want to talk about it. And from those two instances, that just made me just go full, full, full force and start searching for the Lord. And... I came across IUIC, and that was it. But it was from those two instances. Even when seeing the police shootings, that still didn't give me that push. But when I heard the sister on the train, and then I read my aunt's obituary, that was it. Because nobody, nobody would want to talk about these things. I later on found out why, um, due to the treatment that she experienced. Uh, going over there with those 300 uh, people from Chicago during that time. But to get to the point, those two instances made me just, I got to find out. Y'all not telling me what 
a Hebrew Israelite is. I'm seeing all of this turmoil, all this chaos in the world. Born and raised in Chicago, so you got gang violence. Grew up around that. Seen all of the killing, all of the murder and drug dealing. Partook in some in certain of those things. I want to know. I need to know. This cannot be life. And from my searching, came across IUIC. What scripture sealed the deal for me to walk in truth? The scripture that sealed the deal for me to walk in truth was Hosea 5 and 15. The reason being, in Hosea 5 and 15, it says, until we seek his face, he'll turn away from us. I'm butchering it a little bit, but it says in our affliction, we'll seek him early. If To those that see this, if you want to know why the Lord is allowing all of this, this pain, this anguish to come upon us as a people, is to get your attention. Think about it. The only time blacks and Hispanics and natives want to pray is when somebody died, when something bad happened. That's when you call on God. So when I heard that scripture, everything just started making sense because me, myself, I was going through certain things in my personal life. But when I heard the scriptures, like, oh, okay, that's God giving you that nudge. Like, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. And from now, you know, that was it. That was it. What makes you continue to stay with IUIC? What makes me continue to stay with IUIC? Easy, easy question to answer. Take a look. You can't name many, you can't name that many groups, organizations, even black or Hispanic men that's standing up doing what we're doing. We actually go into the street, actually deal with the people, actually tell these young men that they can change. There is some hope. Because some brothers think they can't change the life that they in, whatever it may be. We're actually hitting the streets. We're actually out on the forefront. We're actually doing what the scripture says. Match us up with the scriptures. That's what I, that's what I put forth towards the people. Match IUIC up with the scriptures. Christ said, go ye therefore and teach all nations. Why? The Israelites are scattered in all nations. Who is going throughout all the nations? Trying to. We ain't been to all nations. But making that step to go teach our people that are scattered in all these places. That's what make me stay. That's what make me stay. These men that I'm amongst, they seriously about pushing this truth. They seriously about building their people up. That's what makes me stay. Not only because I'm seeing what they doing, me, myself, I want to pay. I want to partake in that. I want to help build my people up. I want to help build the next leaders and in turn become the next leader and continue on that process and we get out of here. Next step is the kingdom. That's what makes me stay. Quote your favorite scripture. Uh, my favorite scripture. Um, it'll have to be Hosea 5. The reason why that's a scripture Along with Deuteronomy 28, that made things click. With Deuteronomy 28, you find out your nationality. Without a shadow of a doubt, you Israel, you fit everything listed. But Hosea 5 gives you clear-cut reason as to why you're going through what you're going through. Why we as a nation, not just you yourself, why we as a nation are catching this affliction that we're going through. Why are we even in the ghetto? Why are we even in slums, urine filled hallways? Because we are not seeking the Father. Once we seek the Father, He'll answer our prayers. So that's that's pretty much it. Most High Christ bless. Shalom.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.